a very exciting thing to me is this young square dance scene that started in Portland with Bill Martin and the band Foghorn. Now Foghorn just plays old time music and Bill didn't care what kind of tunes they played, extra beats, whatever. He didn't, he didn't care at all what they wanted to play. He just let them play and he does easy dances. And they would have these gatherings of young people, there was some drinking involved, and they would be huge numbers of young people doing easy squares and loving it. So it wasn't about good style, but it was about having fun, which was where we all came from when we first started dancing. It wasn't about how complicated it was, it's about, it's so much fun to do these movements. So started in Portland and then it spread to Seattle where they have the subversive square dance where somebody will text some people and say we're having a party at seven o'clock tonight you know come and dance some squares so it's very much that grassroots we want to do this for fun come on out it, it's not so organized so I love seeing this happen and then some of these young callers who are also trained on the just go for it just try it and so they're, they're fearless. They just learn to call. And then if they move somewhere, they start to dance. Michael is Mario moved to Bloomington. And so it's, it's often a bar dance or it's not the regular dance, but it's some alternative thing. And it's all squares and they love it. So now DC has a 250 people square dance collective that happens in an Episcopal church with beer <laughs> and it's great fun it's very successful and uh, I think they're starting to try it in New York and uh, Toronto you know different pockets of this youth square dance thing are, are popping up so that's exciting to me that and I think through Facebook and Twitter the word is out that yes this is fun it's well it's worth giving it a try it's cool <laughs>